you. So Robin tells me I can ask one more question. Is that correct? Okay. So we, just making sure. My first time out here, so uh, don't want to get in trouble. The uh, the last. So there's again this sort of cluster, I guess. Um, one of them was going to be. Dave took the question on cannabis sales. Um, so now it's down to two that have to do sort of with our youth and. Um, Maybe it's prejudicial of me to say that they were cannabis users, but uh, so the questions are about uh, a skateboard park, if you think there should be one, and if so, where? Um, and then the other youth-related question would be about charter schools. So I will let you decide whether you're going to go with the tough or the easy one there. Um, and we'll start with Mayor Mordo and go this way to Nasa and then uh, end up that way. Well, I'll, I'll uh, take the... Um I'll make the choice not to answer the question and to answer a different question that you haven't asked. And that, that question is, I'm surprised there haven't been any question on finances. And there have been some innuendos by some uh, candidates saying that we are in a precarious situation, we have to be careful about our money, that we, are gonna, uh, we have a strong exposure to um, uh, it, to uh, pension costs and all that. And, and it's all true that we, have pension costs are going up, and but I can I can guarantee you that we are still very conservative. Even with the 35 million we're spending on the community center, uh, we are very prudent. We uh, this this um, this city has suffered in the past. In the past 15 years, we have underinvested in everything and kept the money under our mattress. And, uh, and unfortunately, it, 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 our roads have suffered, our, all our infrastructure has suffered, all our building need attention, and um, I'm glad that finally we are, we are spending the money that we can afford to spend. Okay, I think, um, especially since the money, we have 60 million plus in the bank, and it's earning 0.6 or 0.7 percent per year. Uh, whereas the cost of everything is going up at uh, five, six, seven, ten percent. In fact, construction is is skyrocketing. So I think I'm glad we, uh, our, our, my my colleagues, uh, and I agreed to go ahead and invest in our community before the money loses its value. Thank you. So the skateboard park should have been, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, I guess I'll go next, and I think both of those topics are really interesting. Not that I don't want to talk about finances, because I do. I'm actually going to talk pick skateboard skateboard parks. Um, so I am a supporter of skateboard parks, and for that matter, dog parks. Uh, some of you might know I've been an advocate for f having a fenced-in dog park, but I think these are community amenities that our community wants and and needs, and well, maybe not need, but wants. Um, for the last 10 or 15 years, people have been talking about doing a skateboard park. I'd like to see one over by Hillview by the new teen center. It can be small, it can be attractive, um, it can be multi-purpose, you can have temporary ramps that can be moved um, so that the kids can do other things with the space. Uh, right now we have a lot of kids who love riding skateboards and they often ride them right down Main Street and I'd rather see them in a skateboard park. So uh, thank you very much. One th so I'll talk about the skateboard park as well. Um, one thing I learned from serving on the Parks and Rec Commission, uh, because both the dog park and skateboard park came up on our agenda several times, and when we look back at past agenda, agenda items, those things appeared as well. And serving on the Parks and Rec Commission, what I learned was sometimes what I want personally or what my colleague wants personally for his family um, is trumped. I tr by what the community wants. Um, and, and I could use the dog park as an example. The dog park um, in our community has been on our books for a very long time. And my fellow commissioners and I decided that we were gonna bring it back and make it a priority and conduct a survey of the community to see whether or not we wanted to move forward as a community with a dog park, whether it was a fenced in dog park, a full you know, 24 seven dog park, or some hybrid um, scenario. And we conducted a survey of the community. And initially, at our meetings, we had several supporters of a dog park. When we conducted the survey that attracted people who were against a dog park, mm -hmm. and it turned out, based on the results from the survey and the response from the community, the decision was made 
by the commission not to move forward with the dog park. And so when I think of the skate board park, I think a similar process would need to be implemented and followed. And I see Jonathan Weinberg, who's the chair of the Parks and Commission here, and that's something that I would recommend um, that if people are interested in a skateboard park, you start with the Parks and Rec Commission. And similar to what John did about talking about finances, I quickly want to talk about the roles of commissions and committees. I've served on a commission, I've served on a committee, I attend meetings, I roll up my sleeves, I get involved, and I do try to make a difference in the community. And there's so many other members here who do that. And as Anita said, we have a lot of experts. We have a very smart population. And so if I'm elected to council, I would make sure that I utilize or commissions more wisely. I factor in their recommendations and decisions when they come to council because they play a vital role in our community. Okay, Teresa. Uh, can I have one moment just to say a rebuttal? <laughs> which is that we've done two surveys over the last year for a fenced-in dog park, over 1,300 respondents, and both dog owners and non-dog owners uh, want to see a fenced-in dog park, and as well as off-leash hours, there's a smaller number uh, at, at over 80%. So just wanted to mention that. Thank you. Off-leash hours, okay. Well, out of respect of the questions that were being asked, I'd like to stick to the questions. Um, I think that the skateboard park is a great opportunity for some of the younger people to get involved with the process of how politics work and how a city works. So I think it'd be a great idea if they wanted to have a skateboard park that they figure out exactly the process for being able to do it, and I would encourage that to happen. I have some young neighbors that were wanting a specific type of park. Um, for their activities and, and I had talked to them about coming to council and asking council about being able to get that park put in place for them. And so I would support the process and if the youth want it, let's go for it. I don't know that I can add much to what's been said elsewhere about both the skate bar board and the dog parks, but I think that as Teresa is saying, it's a great opportunity for us to look at the process we use for making decisions in our city. And if we do use our commissions well, and if we do use st statistically valid surveys well, we can do a better job of figuring out how to serve our residents, and that's what I think this is really all about. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth, thank you. Please join me with a hand for Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth.